Hey guys, Trying here, and you're watching Trying Surviving. Where in the world have I been? Man, I've been all over. I've been working some pretty crazy hours and trying to sleep. So, I have been kind of keeping up with some of y'all. I've been watching your content, leaving comments here and there. It's been great. It's been a lot of fun. Hope you had a great Christmas. But right now, we're going to be digging into something that I put together several years ago, and I think it's still going to be good today. So, hold on a minute. Let me readjust, and we're going to dig into this and see what we got. Hold on, guys. All right, guys. Welcome back. Back several years ago when the bug out bag bug bit me whoa i think i hurt something there say that again bug out bag bug bit me i like a lot of other folks put together a bug out bag and we had a store in town that was an absolute gold mine for uh for preppers you name it and so i bought this bag spec ops brand I uh, got it on a pretty good deal after Hurricane Sandy went through. They were putting together emergency preparedness kits, and so they had the bag and five attachments that went along with it for like $90. So this bag's made in Texas, and uh, it, it's, it's a great bag. I bought things that I thought I needed and I thought I wanted and it'd make life easier if I had to stay out in the woods. Basically, I had put together an inch bag. Inch, well, acronym for I'm not coming home. But it's really hard to build a kit like that on a um, when you're basing it off a three-day assault pack. It, it, it's really hard to do. Uh, so time went by. The bag started losing weight. I'm taking things out because you know as well as I do, the more you know, the less you tow. So I was taking things out of the bag not needing it then I had an idea what can I do to put a kit together to replicate my bug out bag but in a much smaller compact size that preferably weighs less than a gallon of milk I believe I've been able to do that now, I've had this kit for a while so we're going to tear into it here. First off, let me introduce you to my little scout kit. Scout kit started out as a Maxpedition water bottle, 12 by 5 pouch. Um, I've got a couple of pouches on the side that I picked up from uh, one of my local surplus stores, including the, the strap here. Got lucky on that. Cost me a whole dollar. So, hold on just a minute, and I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out so I don't bore you with those gory details, and I'll show you what all I've got crammed into this. I think you'll be surprised. Hold on a moment. All right, we've got everything out of the bag now. Like I said, it started off with the Maxpedition uh, 12x5 water uh, pouch. It is insulated. I got that. Uh, because in the winter time, less likely if I have any water in my in my bottle that it won't freeze. There again, even in the summertime, if I do have some cool water in here, it'll it'll stay cool a little longer in the in the heat of the summer. So I've got this on a on the schmog, and some of it may be a little hard to see. I do apologize. Um, you see. Redundancies here. Swiss Army knife, pocket knife, a Mora companion. My fire kit for this, we've got two big lighters, a ferro rod, magnesium bar, and storm matches. I have I think this is the focus here. Oop, there we go. Bruneton compass. Have a little mag light, flashlight. This is the. 
Yes, there. The Frontier water filter. I believe this particular one is good for about 20 gallons. Again, this is just a scout kit, y'all. Signal mirror. Knife sharpener. We all know what that is. Got extra batteries for my flashlight. Then I've got my single wall stainless steel 32 ounce bottle. I've got the cook kit to go with it. And the little the little stove. Oop, there we go. Sorry about that. A little stove that goes with it. All in all, a fairly decent kit. I've got a couple of small hanks of paracord, and then I've got, I think this is about 25 feet. It might be more than that. And this little kit, this is the Survival Medic. Interesting little kit it is. It's got shelter, fire, signaling, and it's got some first aid supplies in it as well. There's some duct tape in there. There's a little whistle, another compass, fire tenders, striker, you know, the usual stuff that SOL puts in some of these kits. And it's got an antiseptic towelette, if I could speak, some ibuprofen, triple antibiotic ointment, which I probably need to renew these two. Some other things here that, that might come in handy if you have a little boo-boo. And you're gonna be out in the woods, southern Oklahoma, southeastern Oklahoma, we got briars that'll just eat your lunch. So this may not be enough if you get into some of them, but it's better than nothing for a little scout kid. It's not too bad. I know that we have some folks that are new to prepping. They are new to uh, the lifestyle or, you know, whatever you, whatever you want to call this. And I'm hoping that maybe this will give you an idea because all of this together in this pouch weighs less than a gallon of milk. Less than a gallon of milk. Now, like I said, this... This pouch here I bought at a surplus store. I believe it's probably a pouch for like uh, rifle magazines or something. This here is um, probably, you know, pistol mags pouch. But I didn't hardly give anything for them at the surplus store. A lot of this stuff, you know, it was, it come out of my main bag, like this kit here, this knife, this is a Cold Steel Recon 1, one of our local stores was going out of business, and um, picked this up on a sale, actually I bought it for the wife, she didn't like it, she didn't like the G10, didn't like how it felt. And so I, okay, I put it in here. Cold steel knife, but triad lock, bulletproof. It's good stuff. I did a video on this little jewel here. This is the Swiss Army knife I found at a pawn shop for a dollar. So you don't have to go crazy on this. I've got abundant of knives here. I got a neck knife, the RKT little skin knife. Let's see if I can get it out of there. Stop. There we go. It's the minimalist little skinner. It's a great little knife. Awesome little knife. And around it I got some smaller cordage and a P38 can opener. It fits. It works. So, a couple of big lighters. I don't have anything in here that most people don't have in their full-fledged bug-out bags. 
and that's the cool part about this this little kit so if you're new to prepping you can buy you don't have to buy max edition you can buy some uh, condor makes a great um, bottle pouch you can start with it um, there's a lot of places you can find stuff like this you can start with if you want to build a, a light uh, kit get you by it's not going to be long term obviously but you know for something if you're just going to go on a scout see what's uh happening in the woods with the with the critters going on a deer hunt or you know whatever it'll do so that's my little scout kit i hope you enjoyed this hope you might pick up some ideas learn something and if you did hit the like button if you're new to my channel look around check out a few of my other videos if you like them feel free to hit the subscribe button ring that little bell over there and we will see you next time take care guys